There's a lot of green near Indian Town, and there's soon to be a different kind of green, courtesy of Florida Power and Light. What we're building is the world's first hybrid solar thermal energy plant. It's like your hybrid car. The power plant will use both natural gas and the sun's rays. So when the sun is out, we're actually able to take our foot a little bit off the gas pedal and generate part of the electricity from this facility from the solar energy that we get from the sun. This vast solar farm sits on 500 acres in western Martin County, consisting of row after row of mirrors totaling 52 miles. There are 190,000 of these mirrors attached to 6,800 frames with over 1.7 million volts. So how does it all work? The curved mirrors concentrate the sun's rays on a pipe filled with special thermal fluid. It heats up to over 700 degrees, then... We make steam from the solar energy, similar to what we do in the existing power plant where we make the steam from the burning of the fossil fuel, and that steam is then passed through a steam turbine where we make the electricity. Making it more economical and helping the environment. We'll be able to reduce the amount of CO2 emissions by approximately three and a half million tons of greenhouse gas emissions. That's equivalent to removing 25,000 cars from the roads for the next 30 years. It's also putting money in the pockets of those living here. It's creating more than 300 construction related jobs. My wife is expecting our first baby boy, boy in uh, July. So this is gonna help me provide them financially and help uh, raise my family. The plan is scheduled to be online in November, and when it does, FPNL officials say it can withstand hurricane winds up to 130 miles per hour. Reporting from Indian Town, James Whelan, WPTV News Channel 5.